the Gong fam. We are all here in the kitchen to make a flan. Do you want a flan? Uh, you want I some do. flan? Uh, yes, I do. No, he can't because this one is going to be made with um, condensed milk. But if it was made with sugar, I could make it with lactate or lactose-free milk. And like that, he could eat it. But this one is going to be full dairy. So if you are allergic to dairy, please go ahead, change your recipe. Let's get started. So what are some things that you will need? Um, I have here a few items. It's very simple to make this recipe. This recipe is not a Portuguese recipe. It's not a Cuban rec recipe. It's a mix. Honestly, um, I don't know who taught me how to do this one. Maybe a little bit of my grandma, a little bit of my avó from Portugal. So that means grandma in Portuguese. So because the Portuguese flan is very flimsy and a Cuban one is too thick, this one is a in between. And I'll explain to you while I'm doing it why it is like that. But here are the things that you'll need. A tray like this. Uh, this one is a flan, but you can make it with any cake topper. Uh, I mean, cake um, batter baking pan. And this one has a top, which if you don't have this, you can get uh, you can get this on Amazon probably. Um, and you can also cover it with foil. That okay. Is so first thing you want to do is uh, you want to get like around two cups. I mean, this is half a cup. So you want to get one cup of water in here. So I'm filling it up right now. So it's half a cup. Okay. That should be enough. Okay. So then, oh, I have to go get the sugar. Wait, one second. I went, I went to get the sugar. The sugar in the water is for you to make um, the caramel sauce. And you make them from scratch. So you need to put one, two. And I do a lot of the caramel by eye because it just takes a little bit for it to dissolve with the heat. So I'm going to go ahead and I just set it over here in the stove and turn on the stove. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it uh, get to a boil and get to a caramel point. Once I get to that point, I will let you know what that looks like. So in the meantime, while this is doing, that's the gong fam, the rest of the fam. Um, while that is doing, we're going to do the batter now. Um, here you go. There you go. So now we don't need the sugar anymore. Yeah. Okay. So I need eggs for this. <laughs> One second. Let me go get the eggs. Okay. For you to do this recipe, here are the things that you'll need. You need eggs and you'll need around six or seven eggs. I think I'm going to use six eggs. Um, two cans of condensed milk, but I will use around a can and a half. And then um, a teaspoon of vanilla ash extract. <clears throat> and then we'll use three cans of milk. And you'll see that how I'm gonna measure the milk is with the same cans that I use the condensed milk. So the reason why I use six eggs versus uh, 12 eggs, like in Portugal, it's because otherwise it stays very flimsy. Uh, and we want a creamy texture in this flan. So uh, let's go ahead.
Okay, so that's all you really need for the actually the, the actual flan. Nothing else. It's all done. So now we're gonna look at um, how the caramel is doing. Uh, it takes like around the caramel takes a good 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Um, so as you saw, I only put poured in half of the can of one. So I did a, a can and a half, and then I did three cans of milk, and I just poured the whole milk inside, and boom, did it. Okay. Oh, and I used seven eggs, not six. So, okay, uh, it's getting to that point where uh, the it's not a caramel yet, but it's called a pearl point. So as you see, it's not translucent anymore. It's getting that gold color. So it's not ready yet. You still have to um, let it sit there in the stove for a little bit longer. Okay, so now... This is very hot, so you have to be careful. I turned off the stove and it became this color. So this is caramel color. So slowly, so you don't burn yourself, you must turn this around. Very careful with this. It's smoking hot. continue to stir this around because it's getting thicker and thicker so in order for it to get into the walls of the pan and like that the flan doesn't stick this is extremely hot so pay close attention So while this, so while this sits over here, so it can um, harden up completely before we put in our batter that we made, uh, we're going to do this and we're going to get the pressure cooker. Um, you can do this in the oven as well, but your pan needs to have some water and very well covered. I'm going to do this in a pressure cooker because this is way faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with water around over here. So when I put the pan inside and seal it and close the pan, I'll boil it for around 45 minutes and then let it stay. And then from there it goes to the refrigerator for an entire day and that's when it's cold and nice and you can put it in a nice platter and the, all the entire caramel will fall down as if it was like liquid and creamy and delicious so okay that? so this now we put pour the solution in here as you see this was the perfect measurement for the pan can get better than this now you cover it and we're going to put it in the pan very slow now like I said, we're going to let it cook there for around 45 minutes and we will be back to take it out and that's it i hope you like it bye